Volvo Cars India is set to kick off a new growth chapter in India. The company has plans to double its dealerships to 14 by the year end and it hopes India becomes second only to China for its Asia business. Volvo's Indian business comes under Kuala Lumpur headquarters and its boss, Yuran Larson and India head Paul The Voice spoke to Siddharth Naik Patankar. He started by asking about whether Volvo would consider local production anytime soon. A year over year, often I've sold more than 100,000 cars in the U.S. and we still have no manufacturing in the U.S. on 100,000 car base. So, I mean, we try to utilize our European manufacturing facilities as much as possible because that's the, the best economy. But doesn't, it, doesn't the Indian duty structure put a lot of pressure on you then in terms of what else is happening in the market with the rivals and, you know, with segments? Yeah, duty structure is always considered, of course, but for the time being, we prefer to bring the cars in as CBUs. Well, we found that, uh, you know, we've, we're, we've had Volvo now in the market for some time, but we're seeing a sort of a new aggressive face of the company. Where, where do you go from here in terms of just the product portfolio and volumes? Well, Volvo has a very wide portfolio. Uh, we have a number of cars that we could still bring to the market, uh, if the time is, uh, is right for it. The luxury market is mainly dominated by uh, crossovers, SUVs, and by sedans. And there we have brought the two best that we have in our stable. So. We're gearing up for, uh, for, for being more present in the market. So does that mean in the Asia-Pacific region or in Asia in general, uh, you see India being, what, number two, number three in the, in the short term? A potential to be number two after, after China, if you take it in a 10-year perspective. Where do you see investments going from here on? Uh, that's, that's a question to you, Iran. And then, Paul, tell us about where you see uh, volumes ending up, let's say, at the end of this year and then by the end of next year. Iran. Yeah, our, our investments uh, is that we have our presence here and it's uh, investments in, in uh, training our dealers and partners, but also in uh, launching products. We have focused a lot on securing the Sanke plan to see that we have the right products also for this part of the world, which we have done now and onwards, and that takes a huge investment. Then we are in the growth plan to discuss what, in, what investments are needed to expand in India, but that is not decided yet, but it's in the making. And uh, volumes, Paul? Well, <clears throat> S60 being launched only today, a bit difficult to forecast exactly what the volumes are. XC60 we launched uh, in November. Uh, within a month we took uh, about 100 orders. So we have to see how it goes from here onwards, but uh, at least it looks very promising. The S60 looks even more promising, I would say, because the, the reception that it has had by the, by the Indian press when they drove it for the first time was phenomenal. And I believe that the Indian consumers uh, believe the Indian press as well and therefore they will probably take uh, their judgment, uh, that judgment over as well. So we're looking in, in, in the future as, uh, as being very confident and with fantastic growth possibilities already from this year onwards. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis and much more. Download free, ndtv.com slash apps.